Good morning, everyone. Um, I wanted to come on today because I thought I would do um, a quick video on some products that I have tried, did not care for, put aside, tried again, didn't work, and I'm trying again. And I'll give you my opinion, too of those products in particular, and then I'm gonna talk about just some of my other favorite products. First of all, I wanna start off and talk a little bit about some hair products. Hair products that are high-end and um, that I've been using, and it's the Oribe. Now, I did a video on the Oribe um, shampoo and conditioner that I uh, put together several months ago, and I'm not sure you're going, yeah, you can see through that. I'm about right there and about as much here, which you can't see, but just by feeling. And this is the Orbe shampoo for magnifying volume. And this, of course, is the Orbe conditioner for magnifying volume. Now, I want to tell you, I use this product, if not every day, every other day to wash my hair. And maybe once a week. I just change it up with some other um, shampoo and conditioner that I have. I love, love this Orbe shampoo and conditioner. Yes, it's expensive, but I can tell you, I have been working on these two, and yes, I know my hair is short, but well, at least four months, if not more. And uh, it's just so concentrated and so rich. You don't need to use a lot of product. It suds as well. It covers your hair. And yes, of course, if you have longer hair, you're going to use more. But this is just for my use. So definitely love this. And it's good for my scalp. Um, I would repurchase these two even though they're quite expensive, I would repurchase it because it really gives me my money worth. Now, one of the products I'm gonna to talk to you about that I don't do well with is the Orbe Dry Texturizing Spray. Now, I will tell you, I have tried to like this a lot because I heard good reviews on it. Um, one of the reasons I purchased it one of the reasons I like YouTube, I like to hear what other people's opinions are, um, and that's how I do my shopping. I do most of my shopping online, but I also do my shopping, what I call comparison shopping, is to listen to some YouTubers that I do trust, and I'm trying it again. And the reason being is that I live in a climate where it's excessively humid because I know I bought the product pretty much during winter months. So I tried it then and I tried it at least at least four times. So I went ahead and brought it out today um, and I tried it a little bit differently. Now, my problem with it before when I reviewed it was that my scalp became very dry and I noticed I was having itching. Now I'm going to see how I do with it today because it is a very, very, very humid out today. I'll see how it holds up. Um, it feels a little bit dry on my hair and I think that's one of the reasons I didn't like it. Last time I used it, I've tried to use just a wee little bit. I've tried to use a lot. Um, so I'm going to see how it does, but I'm going to use this up because it is expensive and that would just be so wasteful. And so I'm going to use it up. Next, I just want to give just a quick review on the Bumble and Bumble. Uh, it's called Pritta Powder, and this also is a volumizer, and I do use this powder. Um, again, just to give my hair some texture. And yes, this does leave your hair very gritty. So if it's on a freshly washed hair day where my hair is softer, I do put a little bit. I don't necessarily rub it on my hair and scalp. It's just a little trick I use. I sprinkle it in my hand, spread it around, and then I just kind of juice it up just to give it a little bit more body. And then on my off days, I'll go ahead and use it because it is very gritty, but it does what it's supposed to do. One of the smaller samples that I purchased is Triple Sec 3-in-1 Texturizing um, 
refreshing, amplifies volume. I like this. I like this a lot. It's um, soft and it seems like it does add texture to my hair. I've not had my scalp dry out on it, haven't felt that dryness on my hair. So if anything, I'm going to go through this little bottle and probably purchase this in the larger size because there is a huge difference in price between these two. And if I'm going to have to keep working and working my hair just to use this, it's just not for me. And I want to be really, really honest in my reviews. Next, I want to talk about some foundations. And um, I'm not going to get into them full blast, but um, I'm going to do another video on them. But my all-time favorite, favorite foundation, like I've said before, is the Sheer Glow Foundation from NARS. This is in the color Monte Blanc. I use this pretty much all year um, round, with the exception when I have absolutely no coloring on my face and I'm not using my bronzer, um, I will use this in the um, Santa Fe. And sometimes I mix the two together. Just depends on where I'm at color-wise. But um, this is my all-time favorite. Goes on beautiful, leaves a really nice glow to your skin, feels good, doesn't run off. Um, love this. Hmm, my mind just went blank. Oh, aging gracefully. I always put one of those in there. But I love this foundation. Next, my next favorite, it's not foundation, but it's BB cream, but I wear it as a foundation. And it's the acne solution because believe it or not, even at my age, I do still have problematic skin. I have some under skin little breakouts and uh, I take really good care of my skin, but a lot I think has to do with the humidity. Um, you know, you have to get to know your skin. Just because you're using a really good products on your face and keeping your skin clean and hydrated and moisturized doesn't mean you're not gonna have problems. But this is what I like to use. It has great coverage um, and I just use a dab because it really has such nice, great coverage. Um, so what I'm just going to show you but not really get into is I purchased the Clinique Acne Solution Liquid Makeup because I thought, you know, when I'm having those issues with my skin and I want a little extra cover up and when I'm pretty much at home, not going anywhere, I use my um, mineral peptide powder from Rodan and Fields. This has SPF in it and it has peptides. It's so good on my skin. It cuts down on the redness. Love this. Love this. And I will go out with just this on. No BB cream, no CC cream, no foundation. I can go out just wearing this over my skin on those really, really great days. But this is new and I picked... Um, this because I want to try it because I've been using the BB cream in the acne solution and I want to see how I'm going to do with that. So I'm going to do a video on that. And then I'm only going to show you this. I'm not going to tell you what's up with this. This is the Hourglass. It's called Vanish. It says Seamless Finish Foundation Stick and it's a cream to powder. And I'll just give you a little insight to it. Um, I wanted to try this again because I'm just kind of trying out some new foundation. Not to replace this because I'm sorry, true blue to this. But, um, you know, I just, mm -mm, not replacing, just something else to use. I think it's sometimes good to do for your skin the same as you do for your hair. You use some different shampoos sometimes, which I do about once a week. I do something different um, because I just think it's kind of good for your skin, especially if you know that it um, agrees with you. But I ordered this through Sephora, and um, there was just because it is the um, cream to powder foundation, and I got it as soon as um, it came in the mail. But unfortunately, and I don't want to open it because it's a total, total mess and I can't utilize it, but it, I took the lid off and there was nothing in there. And I thought, what? 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 They forgot to put the foundation in there? No, 
it had melted into the top portion of the lid and I was able to just ooze it out and it was all smushed and a major mess and Sephora said absolutely no problem we're sending you another so I'm waiting for that to come and then I'm going to give a really nice review the little bit that I was able to salvage um, into a little container I used on the first day and honestly I loved it I really loved it so I'm going to do a full face with it and then I'll get back on it um, next, I just kind of want to um, talk to you about this uh, Chanel Soul 10 de Chanel. I've mentioned this before, but I really want to tell you, this stuff, this is beauty in a jar. It is by far the best, the best bronzer I've ever used. I love it. I will use it all year round. It just leaves that little bit of sun-kissed look to your skin and it lasts and lasts and lasts it's just like one of those things that you feel like you never get through and um, it's just a beautiful beautiful bronzer so that I love and um, the voluminous lash paradise by L'Oreal I love this I love this I think it works just as well as high-end I have had no flaking with it. Um, it is a very thick brush, and what I do when I use it is just very lightly um, knock off any excess that's on it. That's what I don't care about it is the brush. I just find it's a little difficult. The formula is drier. It's not a wet formula, so you really need to make sure that your eyelashes are good and prepped, and the way I prep them is with a spoolie. I just take the spoolie and straighten them all out. And um, I think you have to work it just a little bit quicker because the formula does dry fast, but I love this. And it is in really pretty packaging. It's kind of like a rose gold um, package. And you know, but that's packaging and I don't want to get into that. And then of course my Bobbi Brown that is called Pink Glow. I mean, it's dipped down. I have oodles and oodles left and use it every day. Absolutely love it. Um, I don't know why I thought I could find a replacement for it. I think I was just looking for a different shade of highlighter. Uh, I just wanted to say today I have on the um, Rouge Allure in the 145 uh, lipstick and I have the Chanel um, Pink Explosion on my cheeks and um, I have on the, I think it's the Urban Decay, let me see. Oh yeah, it's kind of holding up my camera here. Um, but I used that shadow today and I have on, um, of course, this as my highlighter, the Bobbi Brown, and also wearing the um, Soul Tan de Chanel. Love this. If I had to say of all everything, if you just could put one thing on, um, oh, if I had to make that decision, I wouldn't want to, I would pick this because I just think this just gives such a nice, pretty, ooh, just, it's really pretty. And so if you've never tried it, um, I would say invest in something like this because I think you'll find you'll just keep going back to it. So that's it for today. Just a quickie. And, um, I'm going to let you know how this works for me today because like I said, it's so humid. Until next time, get ready for um, my next video where I'm going to review my new foundations and um, let you know what I think about those. Have a great weekend. Bye.